Attorney General William Barr's self-serving and short-sighted answers to the questions asked of him during his public testimony on Wednesday were predictably favorable to Donald Trump but might have served an unintended purpose, unchaining the inner mounting wrath of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi said this to reporters on Wednesday, how very very dismaying and disappointing that the chief law enforcement officer of our country is going off the rails, likely a response to Barr's bizarre echoing of a Trump fantasy that the Obama administration had spied on the Trump team. As though he believed his blind monarchical loyalty insufficient, in cementing his manifestly partisan stance, he admitted that he had no evidence to corroborate this claim. Now that there's no shadow of a doubt that our attorney general is an utter stooge, we're in the system, do we look for a check on his bias? Nancy Pelosi is not withholding her thoughts on the situation. On Wednesday she also said I don't trust Barr, I trust Mueller, which is a firm comment from someone whose political acumen and clout cannot be ignored in the context of this statement. Pelosi isn't saying these things just to solidify her opposition to Trump's gaggle of buffoons, she's saying it because she's preparing a substantive countermove. How exactly this takes shape is anyone's guess, but there's a good chance it'll have nothing to do with Bill Barr directly. There's been chatter about House Democrats subpoenaing Robert Mueller, for example, a move that would likely not come until after Barr's latent redacted report is released, but a move that would illuminate Barr's corrupt agenda and would result in his reputation as the top law enforcement official heavily bruised, if not mortally wounded. Pelosi is demonstrably sick of these schmucks. Nancy Pelosi's next moves will be useful in forecasting the House Democrats' near future direction, in handling the Trump ordeal, and will perhaps be enough to understand their endgame strategy. Trump is presently in the deepest shit of his life for what seems like an unending laundry list of reasons, and he's consequently panicking, stumbling, and weakening. Trump might not be at his power nader yet, but now is a great time to push him along the trajectory. The best part? Nancy Pelosi is keenly aware of it.